Welcome to It's Your Case, presented by VetCT.com. I'm Heather Chalmers, your radiologist on demand for this week. This example is a three and a half year old Doberman with restlessness and coughing, progressively getting weaker and has a low grade heart murmur. Once you've reviewed the radiographs using a systematic approach, then you're ready to watch this video. Now I'll highlight some findings for heart and lungs in this case. beginning with the lateral view. On this lateral view, I note that the heart is overall too tall. This may be less apparent than in dogs without such a deep, deep chested conformation, but it's definitely too tall. When I look at the caudal cardiac waist, which is a term that we often refer to on the lateral view, I see that instead of tapering nicely towards the carina, there's this increased opacity in the region of the left atrium. When we look at the ventrodorsal view, you can see that the heart is generally wide and that there's questionable enlargement of the right heart. I'm saying questionable because right heart enlargement can be difficult to confirm radiographically and the radiographic appearance of the right heart can be particularly misleading. Let's move on and talk about lungs while we're on this view. Overall, when I look at the cotodorsal lung field in this case, I know that there's a mild increased opacity and when I really look into the lung fields, I can see that the pulmonary blood vessels are quite difficult to follow. For me, this is consistent with an interstitial lung pattern. The cranial lung lobes are much more difficult to assess on this view in this particular patient. This is partly due to the patient size, partly due to the radiographic exposure, and there is some superimposition here as well. Let's go to the lateral view to assess the lung fields cranially. You can see that in the cranial lung fields, the pulmonary blood vessels are somewhat more easily traced. We look at this aspect to compare the pulmonary artery to the pulmonary vein, with the bronchus being in the middle. Although it's quite difficult to see because there's quite a bit of superimposition, I would say that the pulmonary vein in this case is slightly larger than the pulmonary artery. When I look at the caudal dorsal lung field, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. You can see that overall, there is a very mild increased opacity and maybe some reduced visibility of the pulmonary vascular markings when compared to the cranial lung field. So taken together, I would conclude that this dog has cardiomegaly and in particular evidence of left atrial enlargement along with questionable mild pulmonary venous congestion and a minimal cotodorsal interstitial pattern. These findings are highly consistent with dilated cardiomyopathy and early congestive heart failure. However, echocardiogram would be needed for definitive diagnosis. A couple other minor things to mention on this case, especially when looking for heart failure as a differential diagnosis. Although in this case, a ventrodorsal view was provided, the dorsoventral view where the patient is on the sternum when the radiograph is being made can also be useful especially because it allows better inflation of the caudal dorsal lung fields to really enable good visualization of the features of the caudal lobar vessels. Now, be sure to review the full report associated with this case. Thanks for listening, and remember, it's your case, so please post your questions on social media.